The question on my mind for a very long time has been, should I buy an RV? And unlike most people, if I did purchase some type of an RV, it isn't purely for recreation. My intent would be to use it for business. You see, I have clients and business interests throughout the United States, and none of them are clustered in one major city or metropolitan area. So it's not like I can just jump onto an airplane and fly to L.A. or New York. My clients and opportunities are scattered throughout the fruited plains. And so for a long time now, I've been thinking that it might make sense to use an RV to take, I don't know, between four and six business trips throughout the year that would really be extended road trips. That way, the RV would not only be my means of transportation, I could obviously overnight in it, and more importantly, I could use it as my mobile office. Oh, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure along the way, there'll be a lot of side trips where I take in the beauty of this country. And I've also thought about getting an RV so I can bring my best friend along with me because he doesn't do very well in airplanes or most hotels. So when it comes to RVs, I've looked at Class Cs and also Class Bs, but to get the build quality that I'm looking for, the prices are really astronomical. And so the frugal, contrarian, market-timing investor in me says, hey, wait for a recession when the prices on most of these high-end RVs will drop like a rock and then come in and make the purchase. And so for now, I do think that I'm going to wait for a recession to get one of those big, beautiful rigs. But as time wears on and we haven't had a blow-off top to the business cycle yet, I've been thinking about taking a compromise position where rather than buying a high-end motor home, I just get a small, well-built trailer that I can pull behind my car. And therein lies a problem because my tow vehicle is a Subaru Outback with a capacity of about 2,700 pounds. So with limited options, I'm looking at buying a teardrop trailer, not a cheap one, one that has very good build quality, something that I could stand up in and includes a kitchen, bed, and bath. Or the other alternative would be to buy a high quality cargo trailer that I then insulate and customize to my specific needs. And so that's where you come in. I'd like to hear some of your ideas and suggestions and opinions as to what course I should take. Should I bite the bullet now and buy the motorhome or wait for the recession and in the meantime, what should I do? Purchase a well-equipped teardrop trailer or build out something of my own design? Hey, I guess the alternative is to just keep flying and staying in hotels. Well, let me know your thoughts. And until then, as always, for the Wellsteading Podcast, this is John Pagliano wishing you the very best returns.